We're going to take a look at Silverton Central Railroad and the hand-painted backdrop that John Addison painted at Suncoast Center for Fine Scale Modeling. So here we go. Hi, I'm Tom Govichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And every time I go to Suncoast Center for Fine Scale Modeling, I am inspired by the modeling techniques and how good everything looks there. But this time I was amazed at the job that John Addison did on the Silverton Central. He hand painted all the backdrops on there. Now he's not quite through with all of them. He's still got a few more to do on the back side, but the ones that he has done has changed the look of his modular railroad immensely. And you'll see what I'm talking about if you like what you see here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell. And if you would like to see more videos like this and other subjects, go ahead and check out my playlist. I also have a playlist for Suncoast Center for Fine Scale Modeling. So go check the other videos out also. So let's see what we have right here. Some of them were quicker than that, some of them were, you know, about the same. Mm. Uh, it would probably take me a year to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That blends in really nice. Yeah, that was the whole idea of it. Uh -huh. It all blend together. So, it's funny, uh, of course, it would have got done over and over again until I kind of got it really on again. Yeah, yeah. But what I was su surprised at is almost an added to the layer. That one there I painted, that was the first one I did. Yeah. Still up. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what what it, what it adds to your layout here. Yes, it really does. Yeah. And um, like this was a happy little accident. That meadows back there. Uh huh. That was kind of just a happy little accident, as Bob Ross says, where I was playing around, yeah. with, <laughs> playing around with painting, and I went, oh, that looks pretty good. I'll do some more of that. <laughs> I ended up using that in a lot of different areas. Wow. But it adds so much. Yeah, you know? yeah, it does. how you make them right here. Oh wow. And the cattails themselves are just a, you take a piece of a, a real stiff nylon brush, paint yeah. brush, uh -huh. cut off some bristles, mix some tacky glue with some raw sienna paint. Yeah. And then you stick it in the bristle in there and you pull it up and hold it up like this and immediately it forms like a cattail. And then you just take it and stick it on a piece of uh, masking tape uh -huh. on a paper plate. And let it dry and then when it's dry you take the reeds i use caulking mm -hmm. crystal clear caulking to stick these in so it holds them upright yeah and then you just take the cattail cut it off the appropriate length and stick it down in there with some tacky glue and that holds them that's what these are here you have some bigger ones i made over here for the o scale like uh, yeah one. Uh -huh. and they're uh they're a little bit bigger oh wow that looks really good yeah They're pretty easy to do and a lot of fun. I would have never thought of that. My phone and get, uh, get the, like an iPhone 10 or 11. 
Yeah. They have a really great video. Mm -hmm. This one shoots pretty good videos, but not like that. No, it's all a racket anyway. Yeah, all yeah. Technology. Bill Gates is the one that started all that stuff and having all this technology and slowly releasing it. You know, and then Apple grabbed onto that. Yeah. Yeah, they used to give you the phones. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Now they want eleven hundred dollars for them. Yeah, you did, they give you the phone now, but you know, not a phone you really want. Yeah, yeah. So, he went on to become a commercial artist. Yeah. Uh -huh. Terrific artist, but we were in competition with each other. Yeah. In, in elementary school. And in those days, they didn't care if it hurt your feelings. So if you got up there on the chalkboard and you're doing a Thanksgiving scene for the, Thanksgiving uh -huh. with all the color of the color chalks, and the teacher didn't like it, <laughs> she'd let you know. Yeah, she his did. His stuff was always great. Yeah. And I was always trying to trying to catch up to Billy. So it was kind of one of those things where he was always <laughs> getting the praise, and I was always getting the criticism. Yeah. But that kind of spurred me on in art and stuff and got me going in the right direction. Well, it paid off. It looks really yeah, great. I'm going to get something to eat here. And okay. Good talking to you. This looks so much better with the backdrop painted like this. I'll get some old video out and compare it to show you what it looks like. I think, I'm not sure if he had this one here. I'm, I know he had this building right here on the last time. But uh, it looks so much better. Zuyun. It's Japanese, I guess. But it works pretty good. Also. Yeah, because the last time I was taking pictures, I was, you know, just holding it in hand. It's, and, it's, you know, it just shakes. Yeah. And it shakes too much.
Now you could really see the difference from 2018 and now. When I did the video back in 2018, I was concentrated on the foreground and really wasn't paying attention to the background because there was nothing there. This time, the background is part of the layout. The foreground and the background put together in one continuous scene makes the biggest difference in the world on that modular layout. So I hope you enjoyed it. I have some more videos from Suncoast Center for Fine Scale Modeling. They have a few more displays that I haven't shown from the last time I was there. So we'll have one more video on this. So until the next time, we'll see you. We're going to take a look at Silverton Central and the new backdrop that John Addison hand painted at the Suncoast Center for Fine Scale Modeling. So, <laughs> hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance. And <laughs> hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this. <laughs> Stops, trains, and things. Okay. Ooh, action. All right. So, I also have a playlist on Sundown Central for fine scale modeling. Sun. I also have a playlist on Suncoast Central for fine. I also have a play. I also have a playlist for Suncoast.